What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and Finra Saga. And for today's video I have an amazing news and probably you already known about uh, this, uh, the recent update uh, regarding the questions to Gary Gensler from Senate. But I will show you even more information regarding uh, this case and I will show you the next potential step that uh, might be even bigger than uh, this news itself. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family and drop me a line in the comment section if you think my videos are valuable for the community. So let's start with the news. Uh, we all know and we already know that uh, for now we have a very good results uh, from the recent uh, uh, questions that were asked uh, by one of the senators uh, to Gar Gensler. And let me show you this news in details. We are on MTLP resources and uh, this uh, article is titled Senate questions Gar Gensler oral on MMTLP. We did it. All our community efforts got Gary Gensler questioned uh, live about MMTLP at the Senate hearing on Tuesday. Gary Gensler was questioned by Senator Mike Grappo of Idaho on the MMTLP fiasco during Senate hearing for a full five minutes. And uh, here you can see the uh, link uh, to uh, the Curtis uh, Twitter account uh, with this uh, video. And let me go to further. While we thought it was a long shot, uh, it actually happened. Many people seem upset at the answers that Gary Gensler gave. However, in our opinion, the point of uh, the questioning wasn't for Gary to admit fault, something we knew he would never do. The issue of MLTLP was now live streamed to everyone, and the entire fiasco is now out there for the press and others to investigate further. Thank you, Senator Crapo from Idaho, for questioning Gary and even asking for the aggregated audited share count. All this is a result uh, of uh, the investigation demanded uh, by 15 members of Congress in one letter, along with the other allies in Congress that have uh, surfaced afterwards. And I have to say that not only afterwards and not only from Congress, and in total we have uh, uh, 21 members from Congress and Senate who is uh, involved in the process of investigation and who is interested in this uh, case. So, uh, you can find uh, the link on the full video uh, here on this website. And uh, thank you, Jen Kapp, uh, who organized uh, the Idaho efforts with Senator Krapo. Our community, we did this. Your calls, emails and letters did this. This is just one more step on the road to victory for MMGLP shareholders. And yes, uh, this uh, is an amazing result. And let me show you how big uh, the exposure of uh, these uh, hearings is, of this interview is. As far as I know, Busy Brands was the first person who uh, published this video. It is almost five uh, minutes long video. And let me show you the exposure. In a matter of just 16 hours, uh, 550,000, more than 550,000 people already saw this video. And not only that, let me show you that uh, Charles Payne also reposted this video and uh, he has uh, uh, 892.6 thousand followers. But on top of that, let me show you this. Uh, Rosa Towell reposted uh, the tweet that was uh, made by Unusual Wealth. And this uh, Twitter account has 1.4 million followers and uh, it refers to the same exact video of uh, Gary Gaster in front of uh, the Congress. And uh, in my opinion, this is huge. Let me show you uh, the comment uh, from Mark Basile. He wrote just several hours ago this. MMTLP, mark your calendars for today's date. It should be a very proud day for all those involved in seeking action by Congress. This is by far the highest profile reached to date on the MMTLP fiasco and its associated issues. This should lead to congressional subpoenas as well as congressional hearings. And this is the most important part, uh, because uh, uh, Gary Gensler didn't answer almost any questions that uh, he was asked uh, by senator. 
and this means uh, Congress uh, will not go away from this issue and uh, Congress has to do something further in order to resolve this problem. And uh, definitely it might lead to congressional subpoenas and uh, congressional hearings. And uh, in my opinion, it is not uh, the end uh, for Gary Gensler and uh, for other uh, authorities and for other people who potentially might be in charge of uh, this uh, issue. So, and let me show you some comments uh, from uh, other community members. The Bear wrote, Thanks, Mark Basile, for your continued support. Was it this week or next we'll be seeing your appeal go through? I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, feel we are hitting them on all fronts. At the perfect time, things are actually heating up. Thanks again, Mark. Have a great day. And Mark responded, soon we will need to get this right and squeeze this between other things that will be filed soon as well. Hold on. Again, some kind of uh, teaser of uh, the upcoming huge actions uh, from uh, Mark Basile and his law firm. And uh, let me show you another comment. Uh, Ryan Frontier uh, asked uh, Mark, does this help your appeal? And Mark wrote, not at this point, but it does help with some upcoming others, other issues we are working on. Uh, Ryan said, regarding MMTLP or other tickers, and Mark responded, MMTLP. This means Mark uh, confirms, pretty much confirms, that uh, he is working not only uh, the existing uh, uh, the existing lawsuit uh, on behalf of uh, Mr. Harasani, but also he works uh, much deeper and uh, further in this issue. So, let me show you uh, the uh, response uh, from J.R. Ewing. And he wrote, the prize goes to Senator Grappa for being the first politician to publicly use the phrase share count. And yes, it is the first time when Senator asked about share count, aggregated share count regarding MMTLP issue. And this is a really huge. So, let me show you this tweet. And in my opinion, it is uh, uh, the one of the most important because uh, these uh, six people are the people from the community from the MMTLP community who made it. And let me quote you this. This was 100% an Idaho state group effort. Everyone in our state group has been working so hard and together as a team. We have been working together specifically on Senator Grappa beginning in December, when uh, Lole and Pops first contacted his office. And uh, I have to say, I want to say thank you. Thank you for this uh, achievement and thank you for your hard work in favor of MTLP community. So, let me show you further. Uh, I have to say that uh, no one uh, was satisfied uh, uh, of uh, Gary Gensler's responses, uh, of Gar Gary Gensler's answers. And uh, uh, some community members already caught him on a lie. And uh, Hamshort Kittle wrote this. He just lied. The CC and Finna speak with each other. And Gary Gensler stated that uh, SEC and FINRA didn't speak uh, to each other regarding the MMTLP issue. But the letter from FOIA requests that were released back in December of 2022 shows completely opposite. And this is the first evidence. And by the way, we are on official John Burda ad account. On top of that, uh, let me show you uh, this tweet. Anna reposted this, that, uh, this uh, tweet that was originally made by Chad. And he wrote, the picture below was taken in April. The lady in the photo, Anna Dreitz, asked him, him it means Gary Gensler, about MMTLP then. So yes, he knows who is uh, he protecting and why. Who is in charge of, of FINRA? Who runs the DTCC? Rika incoming. Thank you, Mike Grappa. And uh, yes, uh, we know that uh, Anna asked uh, the uh, asked tricky questions regarding MMTLP issue back in April, I guess April 19th, uh, uh, 2023. And uh, Gary didn't answer directly on these uh, questions, but uh, because of this fact and because of uh, this picture, as you can see, we know that he is aware of MMTLP situation. On top of that, let me show you another tweet that was made by Rare DD. And he added this amazing gif uh, <laughs> with this amazing girl. 
<laughs> so he wrote, uh, so Finra mentioned in their towel response that they receive uh, SEC oversight. Today, Gary Gensler said that the SEC examines uh, Finra annually. Seems like Finra twisted the truth and they are particularly free to break their own rules. Why else would they feel so emboldened? Yes, uh, I think uh, <laughs> it is another evidence uh, that Gary Gensler lied in front of the Congress. And uh, let me show you what Richard Hoffman wrote regarding the same news. I believe, without getting into substance, substance that objectively Gary Gensler's testimony was false as to one issue. He asserted he could not comment uh, if uh, an ongoing investigation existed regarding MMHLP. If that is true, then why does the SSC, in their denials of FOIA requests regarding MMTLP, publicly assert uh, an ongoing investigation exception as a reason not to provide the requested documents? And yes, everything uh, is in documents, and uh, we all know all the responses uh, from SSC, uh, and these responses were filed uh, in the lawsuits, and uh, everybody knows uh, that it is official answer from uh, SEC regarding this, and this means these documents uh, prove the fact that Gary Gensler is lying, and he lied in front of the Congress. And I think uh, we have uh, to uh, wait, I think we have to wait not so long, in my opinion, because uh, this recent news uh, is a real bombshell that potentially might be the beginning of uh, the end of this illegal activity on the market. And guys, thank you, thank you very much for your support and for your efforts, uh, because uh, only together we are achieving these results and uh, we will win this battle. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with the notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack,